Savills Manor is Red Pill Germany again. According to the analysis of cell phone data, one can see that Germans are traveling a lot more than they did in the spring. A comparison to 2019 shows here that in March and April, Germans traveled a lot less. They were respecting and obeying these lockdown rules. They were very careful still earlier this year and they traveled a lot less within Germany. Now in autumn, however, there is almost no difference and in some parts of Germany they even travel more than last year. So this data comes from a Swiss company that analyzes anonymized data sets of mobile phone or cell phone data. And this has been used here in order to infer how much Germans are moving around within the country. And you can compare now, for example, the rate of movement between 2020 and 2019 as a reference. And here you see that throughout Germany in March, blue color means less movement. So here you can see that throughout Germany there was less movement of people. Whereas now in November in some places it's even more. While in other places it's a little less and in other places it's pretty much the same as in 2019. That would be this yellowish color here. Then we have also in this data, we have time traces of a certain place. So you take a certain district, a certain city, and you can trace over the weeks of the year, over the calendar weeks, how it changed. And we see there was this pronounced dip in movement and then it slowly recovered and now it is almost or actually it is over the rate in certain places, as I said, of the one in 2019 again. That means people are moving roundabout at the same rate as last year. We can also even distinguish here between movement within a certain district and movements that were from one district, from one town to another. So that is like short range travel and longer range travel. And you see here that longer range travel also recovered, but short range travel is even more frequent than last year. We can also see that both traveling by train and by airplane declined. The difference for the airplane is more pronounced because it has been made very, very difficult and sometimes flights aren't even available and people are still avoiding the trains. That means, of course, that most people are traveling by car now or let's say that a certain group of people has switched from taking the plane or the train to the car, which makes absolute sense if you want to avoid to be among other people so you don't have to wear a mask, for example, or you don't have to be afraid of some infection or something, then you want to be alone in your car. The car is the ultimate anti-pandemic means of transport. And then we can compare, for example, different cities in Germany and you see those time traces. You see that the blue shaded area means less travel in 2020 compared to last year and red means more. Now, of course, this cell phone data, they say, exists in a form that doesn't allow us to identify individual customers, individual contracts here. It is like the situation that the teacher comes into the classroom, there are 30 students in the class and there is some naughty drawing on the blackboard and the teacher asks, who was that? And then nobody answers or they all say individually, it was me, it was me, sir. And then in the end, there will be a collective punishment, of course, for the entire classroom. And this is what I see here. I mean, politicians and uh, policymakers, they see that data and they will say, oh, people in Dresden are traveling more now. Ah, Maybe we need to increase their restrictions and make the rules more strict here. 
or maybe enforce them in a harsher way. So this might lead to a sort of collective punishment for entire cities or entire districts when the authorities see that the citizens there overall do not respect their rules. And then it might be only a matter of time before individual people might be identifiable from these data sets or if the authorities even pressure cell phone companies and providers to disclose the identity of a person who just moved too much and travels too much when he should be staying at home. But what does this data tell us? It tells us, of course, that while earlier this year people were still careful and people didn't really know what to expect with this pandemic. Remember, we just saw really harsh images and news coming from China and from northern Italy and Spain, for example. But now they have seen that, at least in Germany, it wasn't really that bad. Compared to the flu of 2018, for example, it was actually not that critical at all. And then they think, well, why should I not visit my friends? Why should I not visit my family for all this time, for all these weeks, when I could be seeing my family, when I could be seeing my friends? And this disease is not more dangerous than a normal seasonal flu here in Germany. At the same time, we see that while a majority of Germans is still more or less okay with the rules and restrictions that we have and they think that they are necessary, this is what the polls are telling us at least, we can see that the numbers of the critics are increasing. More and more Germans, as time goes on, do not see the necessity of all these drastic rules and these regulations any longer. We also see, and I reported about that before, that more and more people are now saying that they do not want to get vaccinated. They do not want to be a guinea pig for some pharmaceutical company. When a vaccine was something that was a hypothetical thing, that was in the distant future, many people said, oh yeah, sure, we need a vaccine. But now that we have one very soon, some people are thinking about that in a more concrete way and they conclude for themselves, hell no, I have no idea what kind of side effects this concoction has, I will not be a guinea pig. Many people are vaccinated and they have their children vaccinated, of course, because these are vaccines that have been used for decades and we don't see major side effects here. So they are okay with that. But this is an entirely different case. While you can make arguments against vaccinations in a more general sense, of course, this case is different. Here we have a vaccine that is fast-tracked in the development stage stage because politicians say that it is very urgent now we have an accelerated process for bringing this vaccine to the people for having it approved by the authorities and that makes many people suspicious of course and it is not like there haven't been any side effects of pharmaceutical products of major corporations in the last decades Every now and again you have these scandals and you have these harsh side effects for children and especially pregnant women and their offspring then. And I guess people are just starting to worry. So to sum up, cell phone data is now used to track people, not on an individual level yet, but the population at large is characterized in terms of how far do they move, how often do they travel and how are they traveling, what is the means of transportation here. And who knows if that stays anonymized that way or if individual people will be identifiable in the future. And then that data also tells us and the polls and the surveys are giving us the same information more or less that people are growing more and more critical of these measures and of the way that the government is dealing with the situation. All right, so if you like this information, like, share and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Take care, servus, kameraden.